Hello and welcome to Monaco. We are spending the next 24 hours in Monaco and we are so excited. We have been here about an hour now. We arrived at Nice Airport. We hired a car at Nice Airport. We've driven the short distance to Monaco. It's about 30 minutes. And we've just checked into our hotel. Actually, before we checked into our hotel, we we are big Grand Prix fans. So the first thing we did was in our car, we drove the route of the Monaco Grand Prix. We've checked into our hotel. We're staying at the Fairmont Hotel, which just down there is famous hairpin in the Monaco Grand Prix. We purposely got a room that kind of overlooked this view. You can see lots of people come down here to take photos of it. We've just driven it in our little, uh, like a little Peugeot 108 or something. Yeah, this is our balcony. I'll quickly show you our room at the Fairmont. Lovely big balcony. This is our room. Two nice big beds. Well, you can see what's here. We've got ourselves into a little bit of a mess. Bathroom through here. I think Stephen's in here, but I'll just quickly show you. Bathroom, lovely big shower. So it is about five o'clock now, 5 p.m. We The plan is now, Stephen wants to walk the Monaco Grand Prix track, so we're gonna go, before it gets dark, it gets dark about eight o'clock at the moment, so we're gonna go walk the, walk around the track of the of the Grand Prix and obviously we'll just see different things along the way as we go. It's already we've probably seen about 10 Lamborghinis, so many Porsches, the yachts here are amazing. Monaco is the second smallest country in the world and it's the richest. About I think about 30% of the people here are millionaires. We think we've made our way to the um, the starting line of the Grand Prix. Look, all behind. The Grand Prix isn't for another seven weeks or so, do you think, Stephen? About six, seven, seven weeks. But all the grandstands are up already and like there's loads of loads of metal work and stuff that I'm assuming is for the Grand Prix. Is this the start line? No, further. Further. Saying, this is the start finish line and we are off. Oh, nearly fell. Down there, we're off to walk the track. finished walking the track that was really cool we really enjoyed it it's so strange what sit there yeah you can just sit here oh yeah just sit here i was gonna say we're about to find somewhere to sit but we've just found somewhere to sit yeah um walking the track such a like if you're interested in f1 that was it was cool wasn't it yeah. pretty cool just walking the track and just like it's weird to be walking f1 track it's crazy. We think our plan might be for the evening that we were just saying that we're not really that bothered about like sitting out and eating or anything because like we booked the hotel that we booked the Fairmont because it's on the hairpin bend and we quite fancy just going back like if we can get some food to go back and just like sit on the sit on the hotel balcony and just like watch the hairpin bend. We think so. Yeah. Yeah. We think that's what we're doing so we're just sort of looking at the moment to see if we can find something either that we can grab as we walk back or like takeaways we don't really know we've ordered some food to come to our hotel we're just sitting in the hotel lobby waiting for it hopefully it's not going to be too long check out our hotel lobby by the way he's on his way oh yeah he's just moved he's just at the port we have got our food. The only problem is, I'm alright, I got pizza. Stephen's gone for like a tagli, like a ragu. Not sure how you're going to eat it. <laughs> We've got no cutlery. There's little spoons here. You could have to eat it, eat it with these little spoons. That's all we've got. <laughs> They're quite cute actually. That's what I'm going to eat my tiramisu with. That'll work. We've got two tiramisu as well. This is nice, we're on our balcony. We've got our food and the hairpin is there. 
gonna sit here, watch the cars go past. Good morning, it's the following morning and we have checked out of the Fairmont, we've just come to our car and put all our bags in our car and we're going to go and explore Monaco for the day. All the parking in Monaco is all these like underground car parks, it's quite good. So we're currently in the Monte Carlo area of Monaco and Maserati, there's lots right. of fancy cars. Um, our first plan is when we were driving around yesterday we saw like a little stretch where it's like Ferrari and Aston Martin shops and things so we're going to have a little wander down there on our way to Lovato, I think it's called Lovato Beach. We've just stumbled across the beach first of all. Look how nice, look at that water. We're on the little stretch. Mercedes is back there. McLaren here. Ooh. It's a Rolls Royce. Oh, here's Ferrari. If you fancy moving to Monaco, four and a half million. Aston Martin. We have found just literally across the road from those car shops are the Japanese gardens. Oh, it's a bit of construction or a lot of construction going on in Monaco at the moment, so a little bit wrecked by that, but never mind. little covered terrace in the middle of the Japanese garden it's got a little doll museum lovely we're about to leave the Japanese gardens now and we're heading over to the Monte Carlo casino it was right by our hotel we saw it yesterday on our little walk around the uh, the Grand Prix trap, but today we're going inside. Like you can go, and you can see the casino obviously, but um, you can just go in the mornings. You can go just into the atrium for free. So we're gonna go and do that. It's obviously a very famous casino where James Bond films have been made. Looking forward to it. This is the casino, we didn't realise. Our hotel is just here. Like our hotel room was just there. This is the hairpin bend. The casino is up there. Here's the front of the casino. I don't know what's going on, but something's going on here. In front of the casino, they've lined up all their cars and things. It's all blocked off, I don't know what they're doing. So we figured out that they're opening the uh, the atrium of the Monte Carlo Casino in about 10-15 minutes or so. They're just doing a bit of a photo shoot here for Mercedes and then we'll be able to go in when they're done. This is the only bit that you can get in for free. 
can go over there and get a ticket for the casino. Wish I could go up there. We're just in the shop thinking that we might get a little souvenir. Stephen's thinking maybe this roulette table queuing. We're leaving the atrium of the Monte Carlo um, Casino. We're now heading over to the tourist information centre because I've heard that if you take your passport you can get a little Monaco stamp in there. So we're going to get one to We are got ahead there. That's the Prince's Palace up there. It's a long way up. Oh, look at this. These gardens on the way up to the palace are beautiful. We've come for this time, it's about quarter to twelve because the, um, what's it called, changing of the guard happens every day at 11.55. Oh also, by the way, we couldn't find the tourist office so we're going back there later. Here we are, changing of the guard. for a little wander now I think it's called I can't really pronounce it from Ville which is I understand the newest or one of the newest areas of Monaco we'll have a little wander around the neighborhood it's really nice down here been into a supermarket grabbed a few little bits not much to be honest for lunch a baguette some creme caramel crepes some crisps i'm just gonna sit here and eat our lunch we've arrived at the office to tourism let's go in they don't stamp passports anymore apparently but you do get this little thing hang on whoa you get this a little visit Monaco and then they do give you a little stamp not the same as a stamp in your passport but hey we are now done with our quick 24 hours in Monaco to be honest I don't want to leave I feel like I could definitely stay longer we are just on a little hike to La Tête de Chêne which is just outside it's between Monaco and Nice and driven sort of halfway up well probably more than halfway up we're just hiking up to the top because i'm thinking you can see all of monaco when you're up there and there's going to be some nice views in fact let me show you already you can just see through there nice is down there monaco is that way found a perfect little picnic spot on the way up to eat our baguettes. Oh. 
We want to. Can Monica. you see? Oh, there's Monica. How do these blue people get over there? Oh my god. Oh my god, they're freaking me out. That's Monaco. We need to figure out if we can see it. They How have they got there? Oh no, there's a pass. I don't know, but look down there. See, the, there's um, like signposts. How do we get there? Especially the ones down to Monaco. It's incredible. 